Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. DICE has finally revealed some of the details of Battlefield 1's Apocalypse DLC, and one of them just has me scratching my head. The new weapon for the Assault class. The Shosha Ribirola SMG is perhaps the strangest choice I could have come up with for a new weapon in the DLC. I literally look at the thing and I want to ask, what are you? It's like the gun equivalent of a platypus. It's interesting to look at, but it makes absolutely no sense. The gun has a fire rate of 360 rounds per minute, but only holds eight rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber. Damage isn't particularly impressive either, and the weapon is woefully inaccurate. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that to question why it's in the game, but rather asking where it fits in the weapon meta of Battlefield 1. In fact, when Battlefield 1's French DLC was announced, I suggested the weapon would fit perfectly with the game's tanker and pilot classes. Historically, the gun was designed for use by tank crews, intended to be employed from the vehicle's firing ports. That purpose is inherent in the weapon's appearance. Its short barrel would have been practical in the confines of a cramped tank, and the beefy muzzle brake was probably designed to help keep the barrel outside the vehicle when firing the gun's full-sized 8mm lebel round. Battlefield 1 players have long been looking for that skill cannon SMG, similar to the Shogren shotgun or perhaps the Selbstlader M1906 for the Medic class. Unfortunately, in its current iteration, I think players should keep looking. It's extremely difficult to kill even two players with the weapon's meager eight-round magazine capacity, and the gun's pedestrian fire rate is the slowest of the assault class's non-shotgun weapons. The slow reload of the Shosha Ribirola SMG is also a liability. It just doesn't offer anything that would compel players to choose it over another gun like the infamous Hell Regal or Automatico, with the exception of damage drop-off. Shots fired from the weapon keep their punch over longer distances than most of Battlefield 1's SMGs. However, the weapon is so uncontrollable and inaccurate, this positive aspect is almost completely negated. It's one of those weapons that you basically have to reload after each kill, which means you won't be winning most two-on-one situations. That is a trait common with pilot and tanker firearms, not with assault weapons. It's easy to forget, as I rant about the gun, that it's currently being tested on the Battlefield 1 CTE, and nothing about the gun is final. I think it certainly has potential to be a viable option in Battlefield 1, if the weapon's damage and headshot multiplier is increased. It'll still be hampered by a small magazine size and slow reload, but assault players might finally have their skill cannon. What are your thoughts on the new Shosha Ribirola's SMG? What would you change? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on social media like Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.